my co Rotarians, awardees, family, and press. I welcome you all gathered here today for the annual awards function of Carnatic. Just a small introduction on our Carnatic Awards. The Carnatic Annual Awards was started in the year 2015 and has grown to be one of the largest and the most widely publicized event of its kind. This premier event recognizes and awards exemplary individuals from the city of Chennai. Over the years, our awardees have been selected from a large list of unique individuals from various streams. The selection criteria are extremely stringent and requires documented success in both profession and community involvement. In the past, a few awardees have also become members of Carnatic. This year is a special one where we have multifaceted women achievers in various fields and we Carnatics are privileged in honoring them. We have four awardees this year and we take immense pride in welcoming them. Welcome Brigadier Muthalakshmi ma'am. Welcome Ms. Sabita Radhakrishna. Welcome Jigyasa Giri ma'am. And welcome Commando Gauri Mishra. Karnataka Award. Good evening to all of you. I thank the President uh, and the Secretary for giving me the opportunity to read the citation for Brigadier Muthalakshmi ma'am. Responding to her innate calling, Brigadier Mrs. K. Muthulakshmi enriched herself educationally with the desire to nurse the ailing. During the Indochina War, she volunteered to join the army and was posted as a nursing officer in the military hospital at Allahabad. When the Indo-Pak War erupted in 1965, she was posted at the front line in Amritsar. Besides alleviating injured soldiers' pain, she also had to keep the hopes alive and console bereaved families. Her humongous humanitarian service got noticed. She was applauded for grit of a young girl from a remote village in Tamil Nadu and serving far off casualties up north. Though Brigadier Muthulakshmi Ma'am's stint in Bangladesh was short, her workload continued. Besides nursing the Jawans, she also attended to a lot of young civilian girls who needed a lot of gynecological attention. I don't need to explain beyond that over that. In 1986, the Sri Lanka War, Carnage brought her to the military hospital in Chennai. For Brigadier Muthulakshmi, service rendered is an award in itself. However, her services didn't go unnoticed and she was awarded the Chief of Army Staff Commendation. The Sunset Years, posting was the Delhi Army Hospital as a Brigadier. Though relieved from Army service, she took to graduating in Commerce and Law. With newfound opportunity to serve the widows of the Army people, she enrolled at the Bar Council of Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry. She continues to serve as an advocate and notary public. We, the members of Rotary Club of Chennai Karnatik, take immense pleasure and privilege and honor to, to give her the Chennai Karnatik Award in the field of nursing for her yeoman service rendered for three decades and still counting. Congratulations, ma'am. Thank you. Paul? It is a proud privilege to be standing here in front of you all. As my citation souls, I am so old. That already they told me, yes, I have no need to tell my age. <laughs> yes, I committed say 85. Uh, the reason began me happy and healthy, keep you young. That's why I said, tension free, no pressure, no sugar, so keep healthy. Okay. I joined the nursing in the very young age of 17 years old, 16, 16 plus. Um, after passing my SSLC, I was at home. My mother fell sick, very sick, that she has to be taken to immediately to the hospital. And where we took her to Arupuk Kote, where nearby my place, in the Bullock Card, there was no car and all. On reaching to Arupuk Kote, they said she has to be operated immediately. So me and my father, my mother traveled in Bullock Card to Madurai where she was taken immediately. They said she has to be operated immediately. And you know the hospital proceed in the consent. Suppose anything happens, the hospital is not to be blamed like that. My mother being an elite woman, she thought she is going to die. Anyway, with the God's grace, she was all right. And she wanted me to become a doctor. In those days, I'm talking about late, early 50s. The composite mathematics and science group was there. I took composite mathematics in SSLC. 
So I could not join the medical at all. Other results were very difficult. So I joined nursing. I completed nursing. And in the Indo-Pak war, in 63, those days no TV and all. Jawaharlal Nehru gave a speech in the radio. All the men and women must join the country to serve the country, to save the country. So what I can do, only doctors and nurses and the army. So I joined the nursing. I first went to Alagabal, then I was sent to Amritsar, war time. There is a lot of casualty, lot of casualties. In one, I must say, still in my head. So when Jawan came in the wound, that, the chest wound, I was just getting prepared for operation. That time I was talking to him, he raised the hand like this, give the, my watch to my son, and he passed. You know, I just could not believe this moment he spoke to me, and next moment he is no more. So when the father, the family came to collect the body, the son crying and telling him, my father promised that he gave a watch to me if I pass the metric. And I passed it, my father is not here. And he told, Daddy, I too will serve you like in the army. And I'll be a proud soldier in the army. See, imagine, only North Indian knows the, uh, means the army service. South Indian not much about it. See, father died. Still son promising I'll join the army. So that's the motto of the Punjab, especially I must say. Anyway, that is over. That time the Congress President Kamraj came there. And I was the only Tamilian from Tinnamali district to serve in Amrissa. <laughs> Imagine. So Kamraj was very fond of talking in Tamil. And I was the only person who talked in Tamil. And being a girl also, I was just a young girl, about 20. So, he, so she greeted me and all. The next day again, my village photos, me and Kamra came in the papers, and my village felt so proud to see Mahabala Power in the photo. Any of the, the collector came and called my parents. It was great pleasure. It is a collector coming to the village, honoring a poor farmer, and giving a citation. So my family felt very bad, plus my family also very proud. So with that, with the honor, I was given three acres of land from the government. See how much they honored me. I am being so proud to be in nursing. See, so they honored me, give me three acres of land, Prambok land, Patan, my name. One day telegram came to me when I was in Calcutta. Collector wanted to give Patta, so you come. See, it is a great pleasure, government giving a land to me. I was not fighting rather. Only that I was a girl from that village and there was nobody even Tamil that was a Ternavali district. So I was honored so much. Any that's over. So in 71 war I went to Bangladesh for a few short period only. After the war was over. You know we had the chances to see the trenches. It will be so painful to see all the broken bungles, the torn undergarments of ladies. The women Bangladeshi young girls married mothers of Bangladeshi mother teacher started the orphanage. That's what the normal girde. So we help those ladies. What else to do? We can't help it. We can't abort them also. We help them. That was over. After that, I came to Chennai, 1986. Into China, into Sri Lanka war. Uh, there also I served. So much I served here. And I was awarded Chief of Army's Commendation Corps. So I really feel proud. In the Army, you will be thinking how the nursing officer joined the bar. When you are married, they don't send you for further studies because um, all over the global, nurses are very much demanded. So you leave the service and go. We don't want to leave like that. So what I did, I thought of external studies. I took the permission of the Army and did the BCom and LLB. On retirement, 96, I became advocate in the Chennai. Not very busy, <laughs> but keep me busy. Now also all my clients are old army people and old widows who doesn't know English, or the spelling mistake, they will not get the pension. Husband given Shanti, SH again TH. This lady gives Shanti, yes again TH. The pension is not given for small mistake. So like those people, I help them, and still they are very grateful. 
and every year the one christian lady she is 89 send me a big cake for christmas because i got the pension for her <laughs> like that people are so happy and i am happy i am now also i help the army people the widows only especially the widows and uh, help the echs and the medical facilities like that so i am happily living and i am not dream now i become mediator in the high court also because uh, they gave the time a mediator also like that i keep myself happy and healthy thank you all so much for giving me the opportunity thank you all so much i'm so honored